Taylor Swift has other scandals even before she was letting it all out, with controversial artist Maddie Healy, Taylor missed out on the sale of what was effectively her life's work a few years ago. She has since created highly publicized Taylor's version, versions of earlier albums, but the loss of opportunity to simply buy her own music hurt nonetheless, she was injured nonetheless. It comes out that her father received a nice $15 million as a portion of the sale. Did he abandon her, Big Machine Label Group's founder, Scott Borchetta, put his business up for sale in 2019, at the time, Scooter Braun, a known music manager, paid $330 million for the parcel, Ithaca Holdings specifically purchased Taylor's extensive professional experience. Scooter owns Ithaca, of course, since then, all one has to do is mention, Scooter, in front of Stan Twitter to feel their ire, Taylor was never given the chance to place a bid on her own work. Not even a heads up or politeness before the purchase was extended to her. The circumstances are awful. It's interesting to note that a recent article from Music Business Worldwide claims that she had a close friend involved in the transaction. Kind of, on this enormous music transaction, Taylor Swift's father, Scott Swift, made a nice $15.1 million, so, did he sell out his daughter, nearly literally, not exactly, a gathering of interested parties was held. But for a really lovely reason. He skipped it, despite being a stockholder, Scott allegedly purposefully ignored a personal phone contact, according to Taylor's counsel, simple, there was a significant NDA involved in the phone call. He wouldn't be permitted to talk about the chat with anyone, not even his daughter, he decided to stay away from Taylor entirely rather than hide anything from her. Scott declined without understanding what it was. The news regarding the sale to Scooter was made 48 hours later. Scott was also unable to alter the course of events. The phone call seems to have been a formality, calls were a mix of politeness and legal due diligence because so much ownership was in the hands of a single person. Nothing Scott could have done could have benefited Taylor, and we can be confident that if he could, he would have. However, neither he nor the other few investors could have made a difference, therefore, Taylor's dad did not deceive her. By choice, he was just as ignorant as she was. It was a difficult decision, but the right one, he just so happened to gain a little cash in the process.